examples ng integrals na kailangan ng trigonometric substitution ng method. So, recap. Ginagamit natin ang trigonometric substitution pag nakikita natin yung ganitong forms. Pag may square plus square or square minus square. At gagamitin natin yung Pythagorean identities kasi doon natin makikita yung square plus square or square minus square at ibibase natin siya sa relationships ng right triangle as well as yung mga associated trigonometric functions na nasa right triangle. Pag nakita natin si u squared plus a squared, ano ba yung relationship na? Dalawa ba siyang legs ng right triangle or isa ba sa kanila hypotenuse? So, syempre, dalawa silang legs ng right triangle. So, gusto natin, as much as possible, hindi naman kailangan. Pero para yung mga answers natin mag-remain dun sa sine secant at tangent. Ay, yung variable ay andun sa leg opposite the angle. Pag nilagay natin yung variable sa leg adjacent to the angle, lalabas lang naman either arc cotangent or arc cosecant or arc cosine. So, hindi naman yun sa But for the rest of our exercises, ilalagay natin yung variable dun sa opposite na angle. Kung hindi siya yung hypotenuse. Okay. So, next, u squared minus a squared. So, this suggests na isang hypotenuse at isang leg. Since u yung mas malaki, siya yung hypotenuse. Pero siya din yung variable. Yung constant natin na A, ilalagay natin sa adjacent side. Tapos, in this case, A squared minus U squared, yung hypotenuse here will be yung A. So, yung variable niya, ilalagay natin dun sa opposite side. And ano ba yung relationships na makukuha natin dito? We have opposite and adjacent. So, sinasuggest natin yun ay tangent. And tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. Or, if we isolate the variable, we have u is equal to a tangent theta and b is equal to a secant squared b theta. This is trigonometric substitution. So, lahat ng variables natin, including yung b at u, substitute natin with expressions involving theta. So, kailangan natin ma-isolate yung u at ma-isolate at ma-differentiate makuha si B. Next. Anong relationship natin sa adjacent at sa hypotenuse? Cosine. So, we have cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Or actually, better yet, we have secant theta is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. This way, pwede natin i-isolate si variable B sa A secant theta. And pag kinuha natin yung DU, this is A secant theta tangent theta B theta. And finally, for our last case, opposite at hypotenuse, we use the sine function isolating the variable makuha natin si B so dun sa scenarios na solve natin papalitan natin lahat ng variables at ng BX with these expressions example 1 please keep in mind though, na itong example na to kaya kaya natin itong solve using power rule so let's do that para iset natin yung yung final answer natin should be the integral of 16x raised to negative 2 minus x squared over x squared minus 1 dx. So applying the power rule should be negative 16 over x minus x plus c. Hold back. Pero hindi natin ikiklaim no, na mas madaling method yung trigonometric substitution. In fact, if we, apply it to this, if we apply it to this problem, magiging mas mahirap siya. Ang claim natin is may mga scenarios na siya lang yung option. So, kailangan alam natin siya gamitin for those scenarios. So, ano nakikita natin sa scenario nito? 1 times 16 minus x squared. Square minus square. So, we could write it na 4 squared minus x squared. 
Gagamit tayo ng right triangle for reference. So, since this is a hypotenuse and a leg scenario, ang hypotenuse natin ay 4, ang leg natin ay x, at isu-choose natin yung assign si leg dun sa side opposite our angle theta. We write down the trigonometric relationships ng mga gamit sa triangle na to. So, opposite ang hypotenuse, we have sin theta is equal to x over 4, or x is equal to 4 sin theta. And dx is equal to 4 cosine theta d theta. Now, substitute natin yung x and dx na yan dun sa original na integral. So, we have integral of 16 minus x squared. So, that will be 16 sine squared theta all over x squared but x is for sine theta so 16 sine squared theta and dx and dx natin ay 4 cosine theta d theta we'll factor out 16 in the first expression so this will be 16 1 minus sine squared theta over sine squared theta, 16 pala, sorry, times 4 cosine theta d theta. Observe that it will cancel out 16, so it cancel out natin siya. And what I will do is I will bring out c4, the integral, then we distribute cos si cosine theta, oh, dito sa 1 minus sine squared. So, ang numerator natin ay magiging cosine theta minus cosine theta sine squared theta. Ang denominator natin, sine squared. So, pwede ko siyang i-distribute dito sa dalawang terms. Hindi natin kakalimutan si d theta. Taking a look at this expression, pwede natin i-cancel yung dalawang sine squared dito. So that expression will become 4 times the integral of cosine over sine squared. Cosine over sine, what is cotangent? So matitira tayong sine sa denominator, what is cosecant? Minus cosine theta, d theta is integrable, this is 4 times negative cosecant theta minus sine theta plus constant. This distributes it for this will be negative 4. Cosecant is 1 over sine, so let's put yung sine na yan sa denominator. Minus 4 sine We need to back substitute. Ano nakikita natin dito? Sine theta is equal to x over 4. So, back substituting is negative 4 over x over 4 or times 4 over x minus 4 times x over 4. So, forever constant. Leading us to the answer that we have gotten earlier is negative 6 over x minus x plus constant. So we have shown na yung trigonometric substitution, mahaba talaga siyang method. Kasi magsasubstitute ka na, kung kabaksubstitute ka pa, kasi may integration pa nangyayari in between. But it works and valid siya na method and we can compare it to a method is also applicable to the same type of problem. So, sabi natin, square minus square. But in this case, hindi naman perfect square of 5. Pero hindi naman kailangan maging perfect square. Pwede natin itong isulat na square of 5. 
スクールになります。スクールツリー。エクスコンスクール。そう、メロファレンタインスクール。アンスクール。そう、いつでも考えたいので、考えます。アニオヘコートニュース。アソタガ、メンタンスクエマンスクエス、ディスアイコートニュース、エンエネグナテ。アニオヘコートニュース、トゥディスクエットファイブ。アニオエネグナテ。プレジスティー、タイムス、エクス、コスティスティータ。そう、オポシット、エニオヘコートニュース、エシスティサンファンション。そう、サンフィーフォン。そう、ここでオポシット。So, the index is in this way to fire over the statistic times sine theta. And the example is my name again. It's going to fire threads to sine theta d theta. Now we can perform the substitution. This will be integral of dx. We can put that denominator, and dx is equal to square root of five thirds cosine theta d theta. And the denominator again, and square root of five minus three. And you see x, x is this square root of 5 over square root of 3 sine theta on the square root. Remember sine theta on square root of 5 thirds. That's the integral cosine theta. Square root 5 minus in the front of 3, so 5 in the line. Sine theta, let's not forget, c d theta. Observe me. Observe that we could take out the 5 cell of so much as square root of 5. Tapos, ang matitira ay square root of 1 minus sine squared theta. Sa mabilis na mata, makikita natin na pag di makancel yung 5 yung centimeter or 5 is in a meter, makikita rin natin na 1 minus sine squared theta ay cosine squared theta. And if you take the square root of that, cosine theta. Para sa atin ay 1 over square root 3 integral d theta and this will give us 1 over square root 3 theta plus a constant we still have to back substitute since sine theta is equal to square root of 3x over square root of 5 theta is arc sine of the quantity square root of 3 x over square root of 5 so using this to back substitute we'll have our final answer which is 1 over square root of 3 times arc sine of square root of 3 over 5 x plus constant. One difficulty na minimension ko in class is that it's not intuitive. Hindi madaling makita yung connection ng final answer dun sa given. But that's a fact that we have to live with. All you have to know is it, it works. Third example. So makita natin square minus square. So ito yung dalawa natin gagamitin na components ng ating right triangle. 
again we see kasi x squared yung nauna so the hypotenuse must be x and the constant must be the square root of 9 or 3 so choice natin dito ba natin ilalagay 3 or dito usually pag yung hypotenuse natin ay variable lalagay natin sa adjacent side yung constant natin 3 para lang magamit natin dito na equation ay sikat pag nilagay natin sa opposite the opposite hypotenuse over opposite cosecant na gamitin natin. Wala namang masama kasi pwede rin natin kunin yung derivative nyo. So, consistency lang naman talaga yung reason kung bakit natin siya nilalagay. So, adjacent and hypotenuse, pwede natin makita yung secant theta is hypotenuse over adjacent or x is equal to 3 secant theta kunin din natin si dx is 3 secant x times yung x ah sorry, secant theta times yung theta and we're ready to perform our substitution the integral now becomes the integral of dx but dx is 3 secant theta so yun natin natin si d theta dito 3 secant theta theta d theta all over x cubed that is x cubed that is x 3 secant theta so x cubed is 27 secant cubed theta squared of x squared so nine secant squared theta minus 9 Notice, pwede natin ilabas yung 9. And let's do that. Integral. Ilabas natin yung 9. Ito 3. Square root of secant square root theta. Kung maganda at tama ang ginamit natin trigonometric substitution, usually maraming cancellation na mangyayari. So, ano pwede mag-cancel dito? Yung 3, yung kaya natin 3. Ano ang secant squared theta minus 1? That is tangent squared. So, ang square root times squared ay tangent. Cancel with tangent root. And this tangent expression here. Secant, secant cube. Cancel the secant. Cancel the cube. Square na lang yung nasa baba. Ang matitira sa atin ay 1 over 27, hindi natin ilabas. Integral of secant squared theta d theta. At secant squared, 1 over secant squared is cosine squared. Okay. Problem is, wala tayong integral for cosine squared. So, going back to grade 10, we know that cosine d theta is equal to d sine squared theta minus 1. So, counting manipulation, you get that cosine squared theta is equal to 1 half multiplied to cosine d theta plus 1. Using this substitution, kuha natin expression natin na 1 over 27 integral of the quantity 1 half times cosine d theta plus 1 d theta. 1 half is sama natin sa 27. We get 1 over 54. Ang integral ng cosine 2 theta ay 1 half sine 2 theta integral ng 1 is theta, so plus theta, plus constant. Next na trig identity na gagamitin natin ay sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So, our expression can be written as 1 over 54. 1 half multiplied to 
2 sin x, so 2 sin theta, cos theta, plus theta, plus c. Sorry, in Maria Hobito, we have to be consistent with the variable that we use. Now, let's use this para guide the back substitution natin. Ang cos theta ay reciprocal ng secant theta. So, this will be equal to t over x. And theta, that is the arc secant of x over 3. And ang sin theta ay inuuna equal sa square root na 1 minus cosine squared x sin squared theta and therefore equals sa square root na 1 minus ito yung cosine theta 9 over x squared so na-reduce na natin lahat ng expressions natin into terms of x so rewriting the final answer is 1 over 54 dapat na cancel na yung 2 at yung 1 half cosine theta multiplied to sine theta plus arc secant x over So again, we have an expression na uh, hindi madaling umit intuitively dun sa given. Dito, yung meron tayo na difference or sum ng squares, meron tayong difference ng squares. Kita natin yung 36, pwede natin isulat na 6 squared minus x squared. At ito yung gagamitin natin para mag-establish ng relationship ng sides ng right triangle para sa trigonometric substitution. So, let's draw a right triangle. Label si theta. Alin dito yung scenario na gagamitin natin? Is this a hypotenuse and a leg or dalawang leg? Dahil subtraction siya, this is hypotenuse and a leg. At dahil, necessarily, mas malaki yung 6 sa x. Otherwise, hindi pwedeng mag square root. 6 yung hypotenuse. Lalagay natin yung x dun sa opposite na side. Then, anong relationship yung makukuha natin using trigonometric ratios? May tayong opposite and hypotenuse. Sine tayo. So, we have sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse or isolating the variable. This is 6 sine theta. Kung kukunin natin yung dx sa 6 cosine theta d theta. So, pwede na tayo ngayon mag-substitution. So, ang x ay 6 sin theta. Ang dx ay 6 cos theta d theta. All over square root ng 36 minus x squared, pero x ay 6 sin theta, so 36 sin squared theta. Tandaan natin, ang limits of integration natin ay x na variable. Ngayon, tingnan natin yung denominator, 36 minus 36 sin squared theta. Pwede natin ilabas yung 36, so matitira 1 minus sin squared, then, ilabas na rin natin ng square root. So, this would be 6 times square root ng 1 minus sine squared theta. Our numerator is 6 times 6 sine theta cosine theta d theta. Hindi natin ginawa 36 kasi we see na magka-cancel naman itong dalawa. Ngayon, Ano ang 1 minus sine squared? Cosine squared. Ano ang square root ng cosine squared? Cosine. So, this and this will cancel out. Ano matitira sa atin? Matitira sa atin ay 6 integral 
of sine theta d theta. This will give us negative 6 cosine theta plus a constant. Pero, gagamit lang tayo ng isang antiderivative para evaluate yung definite integral na 0 to 3. But here, kailangan muna natin siyang ibalik dun sa variable na x. So, what is cosine theta? Tignan natin ulit si right triangle natin. Ano tong side na to? Siya yung adjacent na side. So, using the Pythagorean theorem, yung unknown na side natin ay c squared minus a squared, pwedeng ganun, or 6 squared minus x squared, then square root nun. And if that is the adjacent side, cosine theta is equal to adjacent all over the hypotenuse. So we have an expression here for cosine theta. Gamitin natin pang back substitute. And we'll get this. And we recall that we are evaluating for our limits na 0 to 3. So this will cancel. Ang matitara sa atin ay negative square root of 36 minus x squared evaluated from 0 to 3. So we'll have negative square root of the quantity 36 minus 9. minus negative square root of the quantity 36 minus 0 squared. So, final answer, this is 6. Maybe positive yan. 6 minus square root of 27 or 6 minus 3 square root of 3. Okay, for example 5, let's draw our right triangle. Ito yung theta natin. So makita natin no, na ang variable natin will be the hypotenuse. So since yung variable nasa hypotenuse, para ang gagamitin natin, sine, secant, at tangent, hindi na yung mga co, yung constant natin na square, which is 4, lalagay natin dito sa adjacent na side. Wala naman masama. Kung i-compute na natin kung ano itong expression na to, this will be yung hypotenuse squared minus the other leg squared square root. So this is the square root of t squared minus 16. I don't know kung kailangan natin to sa solution, pero i-ready na lang natin sa dyan. Justin. So what are our variables? Ang relationship natin ay adjacent and hypotenuse. So, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse or secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So, pwede natin sulat na imbis na t over 4 equals secant theta, t is equal to 4 secant theta. And yung dt natin ay yung derivative nito. Okay, proceeding sa substitution. So, integral, ito muna, dt muna. Right by the denominator, t squared, so 16, secant squared theta. t squared ulit, so 16, secant squared theta, minus 16. Ang makikita natin dito sa square root of 16 squared minus 16 theta squared minus 16. Let's sulat muna natin to. Hmm. 
Yung 16, pwede natin i-factor out. So, maging 16 times the quantity secant squared theta minus 1. And then, since 16 na silang square root, pwede ko siyang ilabas na 4. Theta sa loob ay secant squared theta minus 1. But what is secant squared theta minus 1? It's tangent. Squared. What is secant squared theta minus 1? It's tangent squared. Ang square root ng tangent squared ay tangent. So, itong tangent ito will cancel out with this tangent. Itong 4 dito, ka-cancel out sa 4 na to. At yung secant na to, ka-cancel out dun sa secant squared. And so, our expression becomes 1 over 16 integral of d theta over secant. But what is secant? The denominator is the same as cosine theta d theta. So, resolving the integral, we have 1 over 16 sine theta plus some constant. But we have to bring this back to the original variable, which is t. At ang nakikita natin sa relationship na to ay ang sine theta equals sa opposite over hypotenuse. So, our expression must be equal to 1 over 16 times the square root of t squared minus 16 over t plus a constant. Siguro, mas magandang way of writing this would be t squared minus 16 over 16t plus c. So, anong method yung gagamitin natin? Completing the square. So, tignan natin, no? Una kong gagawin, if a factor out yung negative sa labas, para ang nakikita ko ay x squared minus x. Yung sud yung gagawin, ay yung quadratic natin na expression, kailangan nating i-transform into a perfect square. So, we take the coefficient of x, which is negative 1, divide by 2, negative 1 half, then square natin siya. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng plus 1 fourth. Siyempre, kailangan may bawi. So, mag-minus tayo ng 1 fourth. para hindi magbago yung value ng expression. Now, looking at the first three terms, ang x squared minus x plus 1 fourth, that is the same as x minus 1 half quantity squared minus 1 fourth. But what is 1 fourth? 1 fourth is 1 half quantity squared. I distribute lang natin yung negative. Then yung negative 1 half squared, siya na yung magiging positive. Minus x minus 1 half squared. Kung nalilito tayo, oh, kung nalilito tayo, na may x minus 1 half doon, you could always use u-substitution para hindi natin nakikita yung mga other constants na ina-add natin. So if u is equal to x minus 1 half, du is equal to dx, our expression can be written as follows. So pwede tayong gumawa ngayon ng triangle ulit, right triangle. Ang hypotenuse natin ay 1 half. So, yung variable natin will be represented by a leg. We choose the opposite leg para sign yung relationship natin. So, sine theta is opposite over adjacent. Ay, sorry. So, sine theta is opposite over the hypotenuse. Sulat natin. 
u over 1 half or 2u or u is equal to 1 half sine theta at ang du natin ay 1 half cosine theta d theta. Performing the substitution, we have the integral of 1 half squared, sige, lagay muna natin 1 fourth minus u squared, this is u, so 1 fourth sine squared theta multiplied to du, to yung du natin. 1 half cosine theta d theta. Pag sinactor out natin yung 1 fourth, ang matitira ay 1 minus sine squared theta square root. At ang lalabas ay 1 half. Ito naman, may 1 half din tayo at may cosine theta d theta. Pag nilabas natin yung mga 1 half, you have 1 fourth integral ng ano ba to? This is 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. Squared ng cosine squared ay cosine. So cosine times cosine will have 1 fourth cosine squared theta d theta. Kita natin na ang cosine squared theta ay equal sa cosine 2 theta plus 1 over 2 or 1 half cosine 2 theta plus 1 half theta. At yung integral ng cosine squared theta d theta na sinolve na natin before ay equal sa 1 half which is itong 1 half na to times integral nito which is 1 half sine 2 theta but sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta sine theta. So magkakancel siya dun sa isang 2. So 1 half sine theta cosine theta plus 1 half theta. Bringing out yung mga 1 half na yan, yung blue na to, equal na yun siya sa 1 over 8 sine theta cosine theta plus theta. Ibabalik natin ngayon yung variables natin into the original variable which is x. So, ang sine theta ay 2u ang cosine theta ay hindi natin sinol. But we should see here na itong side na to ay 1 half squared minus u squared. So, ang cosine theta is square root of 1 half squared minus u squared all over the hypotenuse all over 1 half. So, ang cosine theta natin ay 2 times the square root of 1 half squared At ano yung theta natin? Ang theta natin ay arc sine ng 2u. Parang sa corner na to, humihirap na yung sulat ng pen. So nakita natin kanina, no? equal to sa 1 over 8. 2 times u times 2. Square root of 1 over 4. So 1 half squared minus u squared. plus arc sine ng 2u. E-evaluate natin siya sa x equals 0 
at sa x equals 1. Pag in-evaluate natin sa limits, pwede natin gamitin yung u na variable. If x equals 0 and u is equal to x minus 1 half, this is just u is equal to negative 1 half. And x equals 1 is equivalent to u equals 1 minus 1 half or 1 half. Now let's see. Labas natin yung 2. We'll get 4 over 8, so 1 half. u times this evaluated from negative one half to one half. Evaluate natin muna kay 1 half. So this will be 1 half times 1 fourth minus 1 fourth squared. So 0 times 0 plus arc sine 2 times 1 half. So 1. Minus, evaluate naman natin sa negative 1 half. So, negative 1 half. Square root of 1 fourth. Minus negative 1 half squared. So, 1 fourth ulit. So, 0 na to. Plus, arc sine of negative 1. Looking at this, zero this is zero which is a one half arc sine of one arc sine of one is pi over two minus arc sine of negative one ang arc sine of negative one is negative pi over two So, our final answer is pi divided by 2.